And with that, the removal of state aid constraints means that we can more easily and directly support our friends in the private sector to grow some great British industry. Will this be to kickstart the manufacturing and agricultural sectors, or perhaps develop capability in high-tech R&D? Of course not. We don't do farming and making, we do collecting. Collecting, Prime Minister? Yes. A great capitalist nation such as ours is the bedrock of capital collection. We will use our new spending power to support those industries that accumulate wealth and therefore increase the value of our country. Ideally, we do this by encouraging a reduction in spending on externally produced goods. So, if we're not producing those goods ourselves, how do we reduce that spending? Well, that's the clever bit, you see. So, we should start by having a skills revolution, which, which will be facilitated by a drive toward lifelong learning, ending in, of course, jobs. And to get those skills and jobs, we will be making loans available for individuals to put themselves on this endless cycle of training throughout their lives. Prime Minister, does this mean that you expect people to return to the workforce at entry-level positions? No, 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 you young scamp. Of course not. Just newly skilled and without any real spending power. And how does increasing the level of personal debt improve the prospect of employment and social mobility, Prime Minister? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, young Tiddleroo. You see, it's all about creating jobs for life, you see. The UK, as you know, has a burgeoning financial sector and we are seeking in the great tradition of industry within the United Kingdom to create jobs for life in that sector. Forgive me, Prime Minister. How will that work? Well, quite simply, Roger. It's John, actually. Well, yes, quite. You see, Roger, we will increase the demands on the financial sector by increasing the number of loans they can offer, many of which will, no doubt, be underwritten by the taxpayer. The same taxpayers taking out the loans and unable to buy anything. Exactamundo, Roger. Then, as the industry grows to accommodate this new spending on education and lifelong learning, we will need to increase and secure the workforce in the city as they go about their industrious efforts in monitoring and collecting the repayments, many of which will be made over the course of an entire lifetime, therefore ensuring jobs for life and profits for life for some of the wealthiest shareholders and captains of industry, and I say rightly deserve. Moving on to elections, you're going to make elections easier to call. There have also been allegations that you have plans that will disenfranchise voters at the ballot box. Elections? Gosh, no. I don't know where you're getting this drivel from. I mean, yes. We are going to make it easier to call the general election. After all, it would be a shame not to make the most of a good thing while the going is good. Nice one, that man Starmer. But more importantly, on the issue of the integrity of our elections, now that we have left the EU and its ever-demanding attempts to impose ID cards on this sceptered isle and turn it into some dystopian, brave new 1984 future, we are free to increase the security of our own elections. And what form will that take, Prime Minister? Well, that's the ingenious part. We intend to introduce a brand new and novel form of ID voter card. Yes, Prime Minister. And we've already seen protests against these plans from several groups ranging from civil liberties organisations to civil rights groups. How do you intend to address their concerns? This is the ingenious bit, Roger. John, Roger. We have plans to stop people protesting loudly. As simple as that. They can protest all they like as long as they do it from the silence of their own homes. Hopefully, and eventually, we intend to extend this limitation on people being able to randomly object to the hard work of the government more fully to the opposition benches both north and south of the border. So your plan is to eliminate any voices of opposition? Eliminate is a strong and precise word. I would more care for saying that the plan is to quietly place a pillow over their sleeping faces.